This is the Vaganova 3 and 4 choreography for the first dance of Starry Night, when we enter with the second star. So the first thing I want to talk about is the way that you count this music. It's a, f a pretty quick 8, and every once in a while there's a 4 and everything, but if you just count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, you can usually hear it, but it's really difficult to not get tripped up by the melody or the other the other instruments that are playing on top of just the count. So I'm going to go over so that you know when to do the very first tendu arabesque after you do your entrance. So the music is going to all of a sudden get quiet. This is when the five pluses are still on stage and they're in a pose. The music all of a sudden gets quiet and there's two quiet eights. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Then the second star has an eight all by herself to enter. She enters one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's when the, the twos and the three fours enter. So um, you have two eights and a four before you start your combination. So, that's one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> that's five eighths and a four. But you can listen to the music and kind of hear when your music starts. So, the music gets quiet. There's two eighths of quiet music. Then the second star has one eight just for her. And then all of you have two eighths and a four to enter and get into your position. We're not really gonna practice the entrance because you know we're in our homes, but we are gonna practice the combinations. Now, I'm not going to do the mirror image of you, so right now I'm stepping on my right foot, but if, if I was your reflection in the mirror, it looks like I'm stepping on my left foot. So just listen to um, what I'm saying. If I say left foot, step on your left foot, even if it looks like I'm stepping the opposite direction of you. All right? So, let's hear the music so that you hear how long you have before you do your first tondu, first arabesque pose. So I'm gonna give a little bit of the um, louder music before the quiet music, which is when our eights start. because if you have two hours of that, it can be kind of boring for the ear. So lots of times the counting isn't really even. So to go over that one more time, and then we'll go on to the combination. There are two, they're all fast eights. There are two eights of quiet music. The third eight is grace entering. And then you have two eights and four counts to enter. All right, let's hear that one more time and then we'll go on to the combination. Let me back it up a bit. when you're supposed to do your tendu first arabesque, but that's how you can 
find it and be ready for it and immediately one. It looks really good when you step and you pose right on one, two, three, four. So now let's do our combination. So the every movement gets four counts in the beginning. So we start stepping on our right foot. We step on the right foot, tendu the left foot back in first arabesque. Hold tendu. One, two, three, four. Now our back leg comes through coupe to tendu front. So all it is is this movement, all right? And then from here, our front arm just goes up. So we step on our right foot, have our right arm front and first arabesque, tendu. One, two, three, four. Go through coupe. Switch the arm. Two, two, three, four. We're going to plie fifth. Bring this arm up for a detourne turn. Turn to quasi on the other side. Three, two, three, four. And then we're going to just open the right arm to the side as we chasse to tendu quasi back. Four, two, three, four. Let's do those four positions one more time. First arabesque. Bring it through coupe. Tendu quasi front. Close fifth. Leave the right arm up. Bring the left arm up to fifth position. Day turn, turn. So we're in fifth quasi facing the other way. And we chasse and open the right arm to the side, tendu back. Only four positions. With the time. Four counts leading in. One, two, three, four. Chasse. One, two, three, four. Tendu front. Two, three, four. Day turn, two, three, four. Chasse. Two, three, four. One more time. One, two, three, four. Chasse tendu, two, three, four. Tendu front, two, three, four. Detourne, two, three, four. Chasse to tendu back. And you notice when I do it, um, if you just watch me do it once, I'm moving as little as possible because there's so many people on stage, we want everyone to get into a position and freeze, change position and freeze, so it's the whole stage moving like a big school of fish. All right, so it's kind of a weird analogy, but it looks really neat when everyone moves and then freezes. All right, so when you chasse to tendu arabesque, boom, you're there, try not to move around, freeze like a statue. Now, all that happens is you change your leg, change your arm, change your head, boom. Then close fifth, don't move this arm at all, just bring your left side arm up to fifth when you did your name. Turn, leave both arms up, now when you chasse, just open your right arm, don't move your left arm. All right, let's do this with the music. You don't have to practice the entrance, but get used to counting the music so that you know exactly when to start. Listen for those quiet eights. you always want to do at least a little bit of what you just did going into it so that you don't if you learn the pieces but you don't learn them linked together when you finish a piece that you've learned your brain will stop and you'll have to remember what comes next so always like anytime you're gonna practice the next piece do a little bit of what you of the piece that just came before it if that makes sense so that you it's easy for you to flow into the next bit of choreography that's a big tip all right, so tendu arabesque one, two, three, four. Tendu front, two, three, four. Detourne, two, three, four. Chasse to tendu back. Full porter bras. So put your back tendu foot down, plie fourth. Go all the way around to the left arm front again. 
Now from here, you're almost in the position for the first balance. This is where we're going to balance on the right foot first to each corner. You're already almost where you need to be. You're facing the downstage left corner. You're facing the corner that's the first place you're going to go. You're pointing the foot you're going to step on. The same arm, like your left arm is already up. So what's going to happen is step on your right foot and twist your body to the right. So it's like your legs are trying to go that way, but your body is trying to go that way. So you're really twisted. So let's all just try that first movement. So you finished your big circle porter bra here. Step on the right foot, twist your body to the right. Both arms are up like a big U. Now, you've done your balance say here. You're gonna turn to the next corner, step on your left foot, twist your body to the left. So if you did this without going to different corners, you'd step on your, if I did it going right at you guys, you'd step on your right foot, you twist your body to the right as much as you can. You do your balance. Step on the left foot, twist your body the other way. Step on the right foot, twist your body. It should feel kind of normal because that's what you do when you walk. When you step on your right foot, your body twists to the right. We always have a twist in our body when we walk. So if we just walk straight towards the camera, step on the right foot, you twist to the right, twist to the left, twist to the right. It's just like walking but exaggerated. Same thing. We do balance a twist, step on the left foot, twist to the left, step on the right foot, twist, twist to the right. So our, we're, it's just the same coordination as when you're walking. Let's do that facing right at the camera one more time. Stepping on the right foot, twisting our body to the right. Step on the right foot, twist to the right. One and two. Twist left. Twist right. Twist left. Good. All right. So now, practice that as many times as you want. You can pause the video, step on the right foot, twist to the right. When you step on the left foot, you twist to the left. You should feel a big twist in your back and your stomach. I do every time. Pause the video, practice that as many times as you want to get the coordination. Alright, now we're going to do it to the four corners. Let's not do the twisting yet. I'm spending so much time on this because it's a little tricky and we were having a little bit of trouble with it when we were in the studio. So, I really want the whole, the whole group to really feel confident with this. So, let's not do the twisting of the arms yet. Let's just do the legs. We start in a tendu front. We balance A. To that corner, then we take our left foot, we balance A to the next corner. We take our right foot, we balance A to this corner, we balance A to that corner with the left foot. So facing straight forward, right foot, tendu quasi front, so it's the downstage left corner. Remember, downstage is towards the audience, so towards the mirror, or right now towards the television, or whatever you're looking at. So, just the legs, starting with the right foot, we balance say down stage left, then we take our left foot, up stage left, right foot, up stage right, left foot, down stage right. Let's go again. Right foot, left foot, right foot, left foot. Remember, balancing has three movements. One, two, three. Two, two, three. Three, two, three. Three, four, two, three. All right, let's do that as many times as you need. It's always picking it apart. I've done this with choreography for myself so many times. Like I can't, it's like playing the piano. You get the right hand and then you practice the left hand and then you practice putting them together. Some people can do it right away, both hands together, but you do what you need to do so that you can do it the best. All right, let's go with the legs and the arms. Remember to twist. Starting with our right foot, quasi front. Let's do the circle porter bra that we did right before. So we did chasse de tendu back, circle porter bra, and step on the right foot. One, two, three. Twist, left, two, three. Twist, right, two, three. Twist, left, two. Go again. 
twist, right, two, three, twist, left, two, three, twist, right, two, three, twist, left, two, three. All right? And then after that is where we go and make a circle around the second star. All right? Let's do this. We're going to do from the time of your best, from the beginning, going on to this balance. Backing it up so that we can hear the quiet eights. because you can go over them with the rewind button. So, uh, after that, we make a circle around the second star, and then we go to the twos are in a big V, and the three fours are in a line across the V. All right. I'm going to do the three four combination first. So, we do a releve passe, releve passe, pique to écarté. And then we do four pique and coupe back on the left foot. So, uh, twos, you can obviously fast forward through this, but it's, uh, I, I actually recommend doing this as well with the three fours. Don't confuse yourself because your combination is very similar, but slightly different, all right? Three fours, uh, do not practice this on point because you're at home, my floor is very, very slippery, and we don't want you to wipe out, all right? So just practice this for the sequence in your technique shoes. And when we're back in the studio, you'll have plenty of time to practice this on point. So starting with the right foot front, the same arm and leg go up. We releve passe, one, close back, other leg, left leg, two, close back. Then we take our front leg and we don't pique to the side, we pique a carte, so you actually travel away from the audience a little bit. So, starting with the right foot in passe, releve passe right foot, and releve passe left foot, and pique a carte back with the right foot, cross your left foot in front. Remember, I'm not the mirror image, so do the, the leg that I'm saying. One more time, right foot front, releve right foot, close back, releve left foot, Close back. PK with the right foot. Plie. Your left foot should be in front. Now, starting with the left foot, we're going to the same four corners that we did our twisting balance. We point our left foot. We're going to PK into coupe back. Our same arm and leg are up. So you PK on the left. Left arm is up. Right arm, right leg goes to coupe back. PK to the corner one, and to the corner two to the corner three, to the corner four, close. And we have our left foot ready to do the other leg. Let's go ahead and do it. Releve passe left, one, close back. Passe right, close back. PK to écarté back with the left foot. So we have our right foot front, do it on the other side. To the corner, to the corner, we're PKing on the right foot, to the corner, to the corner, close. All right, let's remember that one more time. You can just do it flat. Right foot passe, left foot passe, 
travel diagonally back on the right foot. Now with the left foot, all four PKs with the left foot. Left foot, left arm up to the corner four times. And we're ready to go left leg. Left foot passe, right foot passe, PK on the left traveling back. Right foot PK to all four corners. All right, let's hear this with the music. Really have the directions really precise. Here's the music. Right foot. One, two, PK. PK and two, three, four. And left foot. Right foot. PK left. Right foot, PK. If you do the right foot uh, passe, it's going to look like I'm doing the other foot. So, just listen to the leg that I'm telling you. Don't make it so I look like the mirror image of you. Alright. So now, everyone does that combination. So the twos can work on that as well. The only difference is the three fours are on point. Now, this is where our combinations are slightly different. Um, there we go. Three fours. We do PK arabesque, plie fifth, closing the foot front. We releve susu, come down in fifth. And then. We chasse to third arabesque, windmill the arms to fourth arabesque, close fifth. Plie tendu side, and then we bore a turn and detourne. All right, so that was a lot of words. <laughs> so uh, if you're on stage left, you do this starting uh, on the left foot. If you're on stage right, you do this on the right foot. So. If you don't remember which side of the stage you're on, I would say practice this to both sides. So that when we get to the studio and you're like, oh, I'm on stage right, I've already practiced with my right foot. All right. So I'm going to start with the right foot. So this is the people on stage right. Three fours. You PK arabesque and then you close your arabesque foot front. PK one, close fifth, releve susu. Plie fifth, not V plus, we come down in fifth. So that we can then take our front foot, which is our left foot, chasse to third arabesque tendu, do a big windmill of the arms to fourth arabesque, and let me make sure that we don't, yes, we just close fifth. So let's, let's go back from the beginning. Pique arabesque, one, close in front, releve fifth, Plie fifth, chasse to third arabesque, change the arms to fourth arabesque, really twist the back, close your back foot back, take your front foot, plie tendu side with a big bend of the body, and close back. Now, uh, I want to make sure I don't tell you the wrong thing. Yes, so after we do our big tendu side, close back. We releve, we do a bore turn towards the front foot. So if you have your right foot front, you bore a turn to the right. Plie, detourne the other way. So we detourne to the left, and then we run off. So let's go over this combination one more time. Pique arabesque, close front. Pique arabesque, one and close front. Releve fifth, plie fifth, chasse to third arabesque, windmill the arms to fourth arabesque, close back, big tendu side in plie, lean to the side, 
close the tendu foot back. Releve susu, or a turn to the right, if you have your right foot front. Then we plie fifth, detourne the other way, and we run off. Let's hear this with the music. Let's go from the releve passe section. Let's go back to the same spot, but when we go to the PK arabesque, I will do it on the left foot. Starting with the right foot. Right foot. exactly the same. You still do both passes. The, the passe and the PK around combination is just the same. Uh, so, twos, you're doing 99% the same as the three fours that are in front of you. The releve passes are just the same. The PK around are just the same, but the only thing that's different is when the three fours do PK arabesque, you're just doing releve fifth, but you're doing the same arm. So, if you were on, let's do the stage right side first. So, we've done our PKs around to the right. Now, you close your left foot in front, releve susu, so your left foot is in front, but your right arm is in arabesque. Same exact position as the three fours, but they're doing PK arabesque, and you're just doing left foot front, releve susu. Plie, releve, plie. Everything else is the same. Windmill the arm, tendu, bore turn, Détourner, and then run off. So everything the three fours are doing, you're doing. The only difference is, and I'll do the stage left side, when the three fours do pique arabesque, you have your right foot front, and you're doing releve susu, plie, releve fifth, and down. Chasse to third arabesque, change to fourth arabesque, close the back foot, 
plie tendu side, releve, bore towards your front foot, so if your left foot's front, you go to the left, plie, detourne to the other way, and exit. So, I'm going to do what the twos do, and this is the last part of your dance. Just remember that twos in the back, you're doing almost exactly the same thing that the three fours are. So you want to try to match when we're all back in the studio together, hopefully soon, that your arms are the same as the three fours in front of you. The only difference is you releve susu instead of PK arabesque. Let's go from the very beginning from your entrance. going all the way back to the two quiet eights. Remember, don't worry about how you enter, but I want you to be able to find it in the music. in your technique shoes and then we'll put it on point when we're back in the studio. So that's your dance. Go back through it as many times as you want but just remember we really want the directions that you go to be very precise because there's so many people on stage. All right. This is the Vagana of a two choreography in the second dance of Starry Night. So the first thing that happens is the Vagana of a five pluses dance for two sets of eight 
and then the Bhaganava ones dance. And when the Bhaganava ones exit, the five pluses will form a diagonal column. It's kind of like if you imagine in a garden, sometimes they'll have those archways that are like a tunnel of greenery that you go through. That's kind of what the five pluses will be making because they'll all be facing each other in tondu arabesque. So it's like there's an archway for you, the class to go through. So we start from upstage, remember, downstage is towards the audience. So back upstage, and if you're facing the audience, to the right. So we start from upstage right. We're going to enter. The arms are just in demi-second the whole time. Tondu the left foot front. We step on the left foot for Tom Levey arabesque. Tom Levey arabesque. Then our arabesque leg comes to the front. We step on that one. We do a Tom Levey passe back. Tom Levey arabesque. Tom Levey passe back. So it's really, it's really easy to remember which foot you do because you just jump on this foot jump on the other foot, jump on this foot, jump on the other foot. It just alternates. The only thing that can be kind of tricky is the next foot you jump off of is the leg that's up in the back. So you have to bring your back foot through to the front to step on it, all right? It's just like a really grown-up version of skipping. So start with our left foot front in tendu. It's like an A face position. Arms in demi-second the whole time. Step on the left foot. Tumble the arabesque, step on the right foot, tumble the passe back. Tumble the arabesque, tumble the passe back. We do four sets of that. Arabesque, passe, arabesque, passe, arabesque, passe, arabesque, passe. Traveling on the diagonal. Then we come out of the five plus tunnel and we form our two lines. And we have our right foot front in fifth position, quasi. Plie, one. Tondu front, two, run a jump to the side, three, step on it, four. Our left leg and our left arm are gonna go front and up. PK Susu, five, six, seven, eight. Go left. Padabas. Tondu front, side, step. The arm and the leg come at the same time to PK Susu and close. We turn to change lines. If you're in the back, you come front. If you're in the front, you go back. The next thing that happens is we do si sono ver to the side, si sono ver to tondu. That's with the right foot. Step right foot back, brush assemblé under, right away, pas de chat. Remember, we start with our back foot first in pas de chat, so we still have our right foot front. Coupe pas de bourre. Changement, changement. Let me make sure there's two changements there. I don't want to tell you incorrectly. Yes, two changements. Let's start that again. Right foot front. Si son over, right foot to tendu side. One, step two, assemble under three, pas de chat four. Pas de bray five, six, changement, changement. Go left. All we do is the si sono with the left foot, step assembly under, releve, and then we run to our columns on the side. So we don't repeat the full combination. We only do the si sono ver, step assembly under, releve susu, and then we split. So let's go over our whole combination again. And obviously since this is a video, you can pause it, you can rewind, hear things as many times as you want for clarification. So it feels like we're going a little fast. Don't worry, you can just rewind. So we start with our left foot, tendu front. Tamale arabesque. One, step on the right, tamale passe back. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Run to your two lines. Two, three, four, right foot front. Five, six, seven, eight. Plie, one, two, three, four. Pique on the left, susu, five, six, seven, eight. Really have nice flowing arms, upper body. One, two, three, four, five, six. Change lines, seven, eight. Right foot front for our si sono ver combination. Si sono, one. Step, assemble, pas de chat, pas de bourre, changement, changement. This one is shorter, left foot, 
Sison, step, assemble, releve, run to your columns on either side of the stage.